Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the plural of the diaphragm. So, we go to the plural of the diaphragm. We have right cross of the diaphragm, right cross. We have the left cross of the diaphragm. So, these two together is called Krura of the diaphragm, Krura of the diaphragm. Okay, we got that. So, this is one of the origin of the muscles of the diaphragm. Diaphragm, we know that diaphragm takes origin from the lower ribs, from the gyphoid process of the sternum. Also, it takes origin from the lumbar vertebra and through the lumbar vertebra we have the we will get connection of the cross of the diaphragm to the lumbar vertebra and that contribute in the origin of the muscles of the diaphragm so we have two two crosses right cross left cross it is they are musculo tendinous bundle that arises from the anterior surface of the bodies of the upper three lumbar vertebrae so they are the crura of the diaphragm are the crura of the diaphragm okay are muscular tendinous bundles okay they are muscular tendinous bar muscular tendinous burden bundle that arises that arises from the anterior surface of the lumbar vertebra you can say upper three lumbar vertebra upper three lumbar vertebra upper three lumbar vertebra intervertebral disc and the anterior longitudinal ligament anterior longitudinal anterior longitudinal ligament so you got the origin of the cross of the diaphragm. We have two cross, right cross, left cross. They are one of the origins of the diaphragm. Okay. So right cross is longer, longer. It usually arises from, from lumbar one lumbar two lumbar three even maybe lumbar four right cross this is the right cross this is l1 l2 l3 l4 left cross arises from lumbar one lumbar two may go to the upper part of lumbar three okay that is the left cross left cross arises from lumbar one lumbar two these cross are connected by the median arcuate ligament this is the median 
अर्थवेट अर्थवेट लीगल इट मे नॉट डेवलप ऑलवेज बट इट इज प्रेजेंट इट इज इट इज इट इज इट इट इज इट मेक्स द एंटीरियर बाउंड्री ऑफ द एवोटिक ओपनिंग ऑफ द डायफ्रम एंड एवोटा इज बिहाइंड द मीडियन अर्थवेट लीगल Here is the aortic opening of the diaphragm. This is the median arcuate ligament. This is the aortic opening of the diaphragm. This is the aortic opening. Aortic opening of the diaphragm. Okay, we got the median arcuate ligament. Left cross from lumbar one, lumbar two vertebra, plus intervertebral disc. Plus the anterior longitudinal ligament, right cross from lumbar one, lumbar two, lumbar three, even go to lumbar four. Left cross may also go lumbar one, lumbar two, upper part of lumbar three. Okay, why right cross is longer than that of the left cross? Actually, our right lobe of the liver is larger. During inspiration, the diaphragm need more strength to pull, to pull the Right row of the liver down, so that's why the right cross of the diaphragm is because it work against more resistance. It need more energy or more work. That's why right cross of the diaphragm is stronger and larger than that of the left cross of the diaphragm. Okay, and our aorta is behind the median arcuate ligament between the left cross and right cross okay we got the 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 left cross and right cross so and you have to remember that these are tendinous origin these are tendon actually tendinous tendinous they are tendinous origin okay these are tendons this this cross are here tendinous this is another tendon tendinous you can call it tendinous okay it is also tendinous right cross of the diaphragm also tendinous okay but the cross they are tendinous From the lumbar vertebra, but above they are muscular. Okay, so here they are muscular. Muscular. Below it is tendinous from the lumbar vertebra. So it goes as muscle here. It is the muscle that is inserted into the central tendon of the diaphragm. So upper part of the cross is muscular. You can write it here. Upper. parts of the crura are muscular this is the skeletal muscle muscle of the diaphragm okay and the right cross surround the esophageal opening of the diaphragm this is the esophageal opening of the diaphragm okay esophageal opening Okay, you must know that the right cross, right cross, surrounds the esophageal opening of the diaphragm. Although it's a visual opening of the diaphragm, it is a bit left of the median plane, but still it is surrounded by the muscles of the right cross of the diaphragm. It is a bit left of the median plane, but it is surrounded by the right cross of the muscles of the right cross of the diaphragm. Okay, so it has some sphincteric mechanism. So this right cross has some sphincteric mechanism. the lower part of the esophagus okay so we got that
perhaps as expected 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 of the lower part of the esophagus we have no anatomical sphincter in the wall of the esophagus but as because it is surround this muscle surround the esophageal opening of the diaphragm it works as a sphincter that regulate the flow of food also it regulate the it also is essential for vomiting purpose it must be relaxed so person can vomit out okay so we got that the right crust of the diaphragm so and the left crust of the diaphragm Left crust does not surround the esophageal opening of the diaphragm in most cases, around only a few percent cases, the left crust may have some fiber around the esophageal opening of the diaphragm. What is the nerve supply of the crust of the diaphragm? Nerve supply of the of the diaphragm okay we have right crust is getting right phrenic nerve left crust is getting left phrenic nerve okay and also in the esophageal hiatus area, the left part will get the innervation from the left phrenic nerve. Right part will get the innervation from the right phrenic nerve. Okay. So that's all about the cross of the diaphragm. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please subscribe my channel. Please support my channel and share the information with your friends. Have a nice day. Bye now.